In this episode, I will take you on an Indian street food adventure in Mumbai, from an amazing vegetarian Gujarat Itali, an insane street lane selling a bunch of crazy delicious snacks, to an over 100 year old restaurant offering some of the best Mughlai curries in town. Hello. Yes, sir. Idli vada? Idli vada. Yes. Egg plate. Egg plate. Okay. Uh, here, tweet here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Coconut chutney. Samba. Thank you so much. For breakfast, we came to this local stall to have idli vada. It's very popular South Indian breakfast with idli, which is a rice cake, and this lovely donut. So with the tomato chutney, sambar, which is a vegetable stew, and the coconut chutney. So what locals do is grabbing a piece and dipping it into the chutney. Buon appetito. Oh. The chutney is really nice. It's also a bit spicy. It's good, eh? Acha. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Now what I want to try is this beautiful donut, which is a bit heavy, actually. Oh, it's not as light as I thought it was going to be. Let's dip in it into the sambar. Oh. And voila. Mmm. The sambar is very light. I think it's made with um, curry leaves, lentils, tomatoes. Very good breakfast, hearty. After this very nice breakfast, now we're going to take a taxi and go to our next destination. We're going to have a massive tally feast in the arm. We're waiting for 30 minutes. We uh, actually we are the first customers. So what you need to do is just to uh, pay first. It's one tally, it's 600. Then you get your token. And uh, I asked the waiter to uh, explain us all the dishes because I'm honestly not familiar with them. So it's kindly said that he will explain us everything. I'm very excited. We're going to have a Gujarati style tali and they're famous for their vegetarian dishes. I just can't wait. I'm super excited. This is going to be my first ever tali. Papaya. Green chili. Oh, mango carrots. Mango chutney. Garlic. Oh, curry garlic. Chutney. Oh, garlic chutney. And garlic, yes. And that's mint chutney. Mint chutney. This is rice crispy and uh, roasted papa. Cacciori. with yogurt. Yes. It's a meat flavored yogurt. Wow, interesting. So every Friday we have this dish okay. in the party. Okay. And you can get it What we have here? Uh, this is chana, chickpea, okay. potato and uh, onion. Yes. It's uh, called alu sambaria. And this is fenugreek leaf with the chickpea flour. Okay. Okra. Okra. Yes. A sweet bread, puran poli with the saffron and uh, lentil stuff. Okay. And, uh, and all the, the types of bread. Thank you. Yes, some mango curry. Curry with the mango oh. flavor. Right yes. now, the season. Amras. Amras. Oh, the famous Amras. Yeah. Oh, this is your famous dessert, right? Yes. Uh, it's uh, basically yogurt, hang yogurt, with saffron, cardamom, and uh, pistachio. Wow. A lot of ingredients. Wow. Yes. And this is. Um, Amras. Uh, oh, pure okay. Gula jamun. And fruit salad. Here's some sweet curry. Yes. And sweet dal. Dal is a lentil soup yes. and curry is a yogurt soup. Okay. Puri and potato is the best combination. Puri and amra is also the best combination. Oh. Puri and shikan also a very good combination. Thank you so much. You made me angry. I'm mouthwater. <laughs> <laughs> kachori, right? Yes, kasta kachori. Oh, look at this beautiful kachori with mint, yogurt, sev, onion and coriander. Buon appetito. Mm. 
Very good. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, it's so good, so creamy. This is perfect. So refreshing, crispy, crunchy. Let's try the puri with potatoes and onion. They say it's one of the best combinations. Mm. But there is a coconut. Yeah, coconut. Yes, because in the Gujarati cuisine you use a lot of uh, coconut, right? That's interesting. A bit sweet, savory. Now I want to try puran poli, covering ghee. Mm. Ghee is amazing, and the mesh inside is made of. Lentils? For lentils. Nutmeg, oh. cardamom, and saffron. Well, full of spices. The soul of Indian cuisine. Yes. This is puri. Yes. I will mean, put mango. Oh, like pani puri? Yes, like pani puri. It's pretty hot. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try the famous amras with puri. Mm. This is the pani. It is just so creamy, sweet, super fresh. Really, really good. Oh, this is the best mango I ever had. This one is? Shrikhan. Yes. Pistachio on the Pist top. Pistachio? Base is a yogurt, saffron, cardamom, and sugar. Okay, let's try it out. Mm. Oh, can really taste the cardamom. Oh, wow. This is an upgraded pudding. The cardamom flavor is just explodes in your mouth. See the beauty of Thali? is that you really get to try home cooked food and so many dishes, so many spices, ingredients, the soul of regional cuisine. I'm just so lucky that today we got to try this beautiful tari, Gujarati style tari. But I want to end with gula jamon, one of the most popular Indian desserts. Okay, let's try it out. Mm. Oh. Look how spongy, so fresh. And I can taste the almonds, crunchy. Krishna, thank yes, you so sir. much. Huh? Welcome. You made this experience even more special. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you for coming. Now we're going to the cow galley of the Zafari Bazaar to have a bunch of snacks. And yeah. Oh, look, look. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. You test it? Not yet. Have you tested? Be bel puri. No bel puri. Uh, Chapanbo. That is called Chapanbo. Oh, Chapanbo. Okay. Yeah. We are a type of item. Is it? Is a mix of crunchy yeah, items? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all this oh, thank you so much. What's inside? Yeah, yeah. This all. Chana, chana chol. Chana chol. This is from what you want. All mix okay. oh, safe. Dal. Chana. Yes. Peanuts, roasted oh, peanuts. And mundal. And chana dal. Oh, chana dal, okay. We have this lovely chana bel puri. It's full of a mix of crunchy stuff. Okay, yes, it yes. Oh, it's like or not? Okay. okay, let's try in front of the gentleman. Oh, wow. Really good. Very crunchy. The masala, very well balanced. It's very good. It's a lovely snack. Thank you. Very light, crunchy, light snack that you get on this lovely cow galli, which is translated in India as street lane. Okay, let's move on. Chat masala. Oh, chat masala inside. A little bit sugar. Sugar. And then a bit of ice. ice. And just we have to shake. Sure. We have to just strain it. And then we can drink it. Oh, and they strain it. Yeah, because many times uh, the seeds comes now. That's okay. Why. This is watermelon cubes. 
Oh, what a beautiful and fresh and juice. Thank you so much. Ooh, let's go and enjoy it. Just found this juice shop next to the gentleman where we had the snack before. Ah, now I'm so ready because I'm sweating so bad. Oh, and uh, watermelon juice is one of my favorite juices of all time. Watermelon is the best. It's good, eh? Thank you so much. Uh, try one more coconut punch. Coconut? Okay, uh, let's try the coconut one. Then. Coconut water, coconut flesh. So fast. A little bit chilling, guys. Just a little bit. That's all. Yeah. Ooh. The coconut cubes on top. And it's done. Ready to go. Thank you. Oh, let's go. What a treat. Thank you so much. Thank you. So kind. He, re he refilled the watermelon juice. Okay, let's try it out. Mm. It's kind of creamy because it has been blended and so refreshing. That's all you need in a hot day like this. Hello, Tichia Papad. Wow, roasted papad. Beautiful. With masala, look at the chili. Slightly roasted on coals and so with a bunch of ingredients on top. This is a very popular snack in the Kaugali of the Zaveri Bazaar. Cheese to literally get cooked and crispy and charred. Ooh. Egg uh, kitchia papa. Butter. Egg yeah. butter. Oh, butter. butter. Red chili. Oh, it crashes it. Oh, a bit, a bit spicy. <laughs> Or cucumber and tomato salad. Yes. Onion. Chutney masala. Green chutney. Tomato chutney, yes. Sev. Oh, mundal. Chanat. Oh, chanat. Oh, coriander on top. Beautiful, huh? Oh. Huh? Mango. Mango as well. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Look how beautiful this dish is. It's massive. It's like a pizza. Okay, buon appetito. Mmm. Oh. It's very refreshing, it's good. It's not too spicy, just a little bit. Acha. The chili is not too spicy. And with the mix of cucumber, onion, coriander, and tomato, gives an amazing refreshing kick. And what I love is the sev on top, this lovely crunchy stuff on top. Wow. I can have them on top of everything. Oh, I'm falling in love with India. Thank you so much. Oh my God, there is a lot going on, look. Gentlemen making food here. This is the snack that we just had. This is what we had this morning. Oh. The gentleman is making masala, dosa. I think I found something that I really want to try. Pani Puri. Pani Puri? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> what is that sweet chutney? Sweet. And that is a tamarind water. Oh, spicy water. 
Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let's try it out. This is Pani Puri, which is this one. This lovely hollow fried bread and stuffed with mundal, sweet chutney and spicy tamarind water. This will explode in my mouth. Let's try it out. Mm. Sweet. It's good, it's very sweet. It's not too spicy. This one is spicy. Oh yeah. Maybe maybe a bit more spicy. <laughs> Uh, that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, this one should be a bit more spicy. Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> mm. It is so refreshing. Sweet. Somehow, that's what you need during summer, in this hot weather. It's really, really good. So, thank you so much. It's really good. Oh yeah, very spicy. <laughs> okay, this is the last level of spiciness. It's very good. Mm -hmm. What makes a difference, I think, is the tamarind water and the sweet chutney. Thank you very much. Okay, now we're going to try a very popular snack in the area, just right next to this stall. It's called Pudla. We've been recommended by the customers before, and yeah. Finally, in the street of Mumbai, look at what we have in Pudla, one of the most famous dishes that you can get inside the cow galley of the Zaveri Bazaar in Mumbai, India. Look, this is a chickpea pancake. It's like an omelet with lots of herbs, I guess coriander, chili, piece of bread, and then you go red chutney, green chutney, and uh, I think this is a tamarind and some fresh onion. Let's grab a piece. Let's dip it into this lovely chutneys. A bit of onion in it. Okay, look. And buon appetito. Oh. Mm. This is a mean chutney. This is mint chutney oh, and red chili chutneys. Wow! The mint chutney, or oh, you can really tell that it's uh, herbaceous, minty. It kind of eats you in the nostrils. And this lovely pancake full of chili and coriander. It's really nice. It's smothered in uh, butter. It's got that creamy and milky flavor. Let's dip it in the tamarind sauce. This is, this is kind of a, I think there is honey in it. Mmm, sweet. It's good, huh? Thank you so much. Oh, and it's so nice. This place is iconic, so packed. When we arrived, there were just few customers, and within a few minutes, look, it's packed. We continue our food adventure. Here around the corner, there should be a famous spot for Seth Company, which is a Chickpea mash, and yum. Hello, Seth Kamni. Is a chickpea or lentils? Dal or? Dal, dal. dal. Len oh, lentil mash, look. Looks very nutritious. It's gonna be rich. Look how thick. One Seth Kamni. Scaled. Seth. Coriander. Onion, yes. Oh, <laughs> green chili. Thank you. They always give this and you use it as a spoon. Okay, let's try it out. Buon appetito. 
Mm. Mousse, crispy serve. Okay, it's not spicy at all. And I love the freshness of the cumin seeds and the mustard seeds. It's good, huh? Thank you. I think there is, yeah. I think there is some lemon in it. It's kind of a lemony or citrusy. Very nice. And, oh, very good, yes. Of course. Papuri, papuri. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, puri already done. <laughs> okay. See, friendly locals. We're going to finish this, and then we're going to explore more of what is around. How are you? Pleasure. Oh, good. Can I have a look? Uh -huh. Beautiful. Let's uh, take a look. Hello. Making cachori? Uh -huh. Yeah. The gentleman is making cachori, which is a fried bread stuffed with mundal. This is the dough, mixing it with water. Making dough. Dough. Making the dough. dough. And it's stuffed with mundal. It's mundal, but yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's true. Let's take a look. This is the masala. Mundal. Oh, yes. With the yes. garam masala inside. Garam masala and spices. Spices. Red chili and... And mundal, of course. Yeah. Okay, see they make tiny little boats which are already portioned for each cachori. That's big. Hundreds and hundreds of cachori fillings. You serve with the yeah, chutney? Chutney. Okay, yes. Let's get a portion. That's mint chutney. Mint chutney. It's a sweet, sweet. chutney. Sweet. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. I heard this place is very famous. Yeah. For a cachori. Caragua cachori. Which is fried dough stuffed with mundal and tons of spices. So with the sweet chutney and mint chutney. I guess what we need to do is just to dip the cachori in the chutneys and try it out. Oh. I love the sweet chutney, it's very good. Okay. Wow. Look, it's stuffed with tons of spices. The mundal is not overpowered by the spices, so you can really taste the mundal and it's not greasy at all. It really tastes fresh. It's like a biscuit. See, that's the dough. And then they're going to stuff as the gentleman showed us, and then they fry there. They're making cachori next to us. See, they stuff in it. It's very fast. Yeah, it lasts 14 years. 14 years working here, wow. He's a master. Yeah. Very nice to meet you. We'll definitely visit again. Yeah. So the gentleman just told us that the shop has been running for uh, 120 years, so you are the fourth generation. generation. Wow. Making the, uh, what was the name of the cachori? Caragua cachori. Wow. Thank you so much Thank once you. again. Eh? See you next time. Yeah, sure. Bye. Yeah. Ciao. Bye. We are making friends on the street. This guy here. I love India, really. I'm, I'm falling in love with this country. Hello. Can I want uh, brain masala fry? <laughs> and one uh, matto chop masala and uh, pav bread. Yes. Thank you so much. For dinner, we came to a very old Iranian cafe here in Mumbai called Olympia Coffee House. Has been running for over 100 years. Has been opened by Iranian businessmen back in the days. And the interiors, they stay as it was. It's amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, look how beautiful. This is the brain, mutton brain. Oh, look at the gravy. How thick the gravy is, full of spices, cardamom, turmeric, cumin. <laughs> and here we have mutton chop masala, which are mutton ribs woven in this, I think, tomato and masala. I just want to show you the ribs. Wow. <laughs> And they always serve this lovely bun that soaks up perfectly all the gravy. Oh, look how creamy. <laughs> Can you see how beautiful it is? Buon appetito. Mm. Oh. Oh. That is spicy, yeah? Mm. 
You can really taste the cumin, turmeric, the coriander, and definitely the chili. Okay, let me try the brain now. Look at that lovely piece of brain covered in masala. Wow. That's buttery. Mm. <laughs> That's very creamy. It dissolves in your mouth. If you guys watch my previous videos, you know how much I love brain. Wow. Because it's so creamy. And it doesn't have an odor. And now we go for the mutton chop kebab. Oh, look at the gravy. Meat by the bone is absolutely my favorite. I can't wait to dig in. Or I will make a mess, I know already, but someone has to do it. One appetito. Oh, 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 look, meat cooked perfectly. Tender, juicy. Actually, the masala, the gravy, is pretty mild. Perfect ratio of all the spices. Really impressed by these dishes. Other two things this place is really famous for, this lovely caramel custard. It's like a crank caramel. All right, let's try it out. Oh, and buon appetito! Okay. It's like a, a tofu, silken tofu. Wow, not too sweet. Actually, not much caramel in it. Milky. Many people come here for the caramel custard and the lovely Irani chai, which is different to the Indian chai because it's made with mawa, add it to the black tea, and on top they put cinnamon and cardamom. Oh yeah, it's creamy. Can't really taste much of the spices, but definitely got the kind of buttery, milky taste. Oh guys, if you are in Mumbai, especially next to the gateway of India, you must come to this very old restaurant and try their lovely dishes. That's it for our street tour adventure here in Mumbai, India. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next week. Ciao!